Welcome back everyone to another Tech Core Duo video. And for today, uh, I'd like to talk about how to address most basic Wi-Fi issues uh, on Mac OS Sierra. Uh, so if you're on Yosemite or El Capitan, this will apply to you as well. Uh, one of the kind of first places to start, let's say for instance, for whatever reason, your Wi-Fi just isn't connecting. Uh, you click on the Wi-Fi, it kind of cycles through doesn't connect, uh, you get conflicting IP address um, problems. Uh, sometimes the Wi-Fi just has an exclamation point in it. Uh, so the way to kind of address those kind of things uh, where you would normally start is by going into system preferences. Okay, and then from uh, the network tab. Okay, up top you're gonna see something called location. And what you wanna do is click on that, hit edit locations, we'll click on the plus to create a new location, and then you'll hit done. Okay, you don't have to delete any of the old locations. Uh, this is you know, kind of gonna be like a trial to see if this new location um, corrects the problem. Uh, creating a new location won't remove any of your uh, saved passwords for Wi-Fi or any of your uh, preferred networks or anything like that. Uh, this kind of just lets the, uh, uh, operating system know that you know this is let's say home and this isn't work so that you know we can try to uh, just give give it a fresh start. Uh, I'll hit done. Then you can see that hey it turns my Wi-Fi off. It says no IP address. It's going to search for an IP address again. It's going to wait for DHCP to, to assign it, and then we'll see that the Wi-Fi is going to connect again right up top there. There we go. Uh, so that's kind of like a, a step one. If that doesn't fix your network and you can get back on the internet. The second step is a little more invasive, but it's safe to do nonetheless. So what we'll do is close out of this here. And what you want to do is click on Finder. OK. And then we will go to Macintosh HD on the side there. Or you can, if you have it on your desktop, you can um, double click it on your desktop, whichever way you prefer to get to it. Then we're going, we're going to go into the root library folder not to be confused with the user library or the system library. All right, and then we'll scroll down to preferences. Okay, from the preferences folder, we're gonna go all the way down to the system configuration folder. Okay, and within this folder, you'll see a bunch of items. Okay, everything from airport, uh, accounts, uh, preferences, network interfaces, Apple Wi-Fi, uh, SMB server, all these um, preference files that are used for networking and things, things of that nature. Okay, so what we would do here, okay, is create a new folder on the desktop and we'll name it temp uh, sysconfig. You can name this whatever you want. This is just a temporary place to place these files. So what we're going to do is actually take all these files out of this folder and move them into this temp folder. Okay, and it actually did a copy. So what you'll want to do is actually take them out now and uh, move them to the trash. Okay, it's going to ask for your administrator password. Except for that Apple boot list. Sorry about that. Uh, you actually can't delete the boot that plist because it's currently in use by the operating system. So just go ahead and take all the other ones except that boot plist. There we go. So you'll just leave that one in there and uh, close the window out. Now, don't worry about deleting these because as soon as the computer turns back on, it's going to rebuild all those files. Okay. And once you restart your computer, all those files are going to get regenerated. So uh, just for the purposes of this, uh, what I'm going to do is restart, and then we're going to continue the video once the computer turns back on. Already, and my computer just restarted, so we're back on the uh, desktop here. And for, uh, I guess, just argument's sake, let's go back into uh, Macintosh HD. Uh, you can get there from, your, from the desktop if you have the icon, or you can use Finder and it'll be on the side there in the favorites. Uh, and then from there, let's go to the library, preferences, and we'll scroll all the way down to system configuration. And as you can see, all the necessary files for the system have rebuilt themselves and regenerated. So no worries on kind of not having those uh, or having those affect kind of the way the computer functions. Okay, and 
if you can see that there are some uh, if you can see that you know this configuration got your Wi-Fi working again and everything is kind of back to normal any any um, plist files that have not been regenerated yet you can actually drag back in out of uh, uh, out of this temp sysconfig, because as you can see now, it all, not all of them are back there. These are just config files that haven't, that aren't required at this point for the operating system. So they may be uh, SMB shares or you know specific uh, OS 10 kind of uh, applications that you have that are generating those preference files, which they'll generate once again when the computer uh, you know requires them or when you pull up those kind of operations. So uh, you can keep these on the side if you like. But most of the time, I just take them and drop them in the trash. Okay. And this will usually uh, weave out any kind of like serious uh, or semi-serious kind of Wi-Fi or networking problem. Uh, if the Wi-Fi and your internet still aren't working, at that point, you might want to check and take a look at your router. Uh, you can also, you know, do things like, you know, test maybe in another user account or test on another um, kind of known good operating system on your current laptop just to make sure it's not just like an operating system specific issue. So, you know, there are a bunch of things that you can take a look at to address Wi-Fi problems uh, or networking problems in general. Um, you know, and if you have anything specific that you got going on that, you know, wasn't addressed in this video, you can always, uh, you know, leave a comment below, uh, let us know, let me know what you, what you're experiencing. And I'd be more than happy, more than happy to, you know, help you out with it. Uh, but at this point, uh, you know, thanks for watching and we hope that this was a helpful video for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.